when it comes to the manufacturing side, the dust is pretty horrendous. I spent a lot of my time wearing paper, disposable um, face masks. Um, and to be honest, they, they don't do a lot at all. Dean Morris began working as a stonemason when he was 19. He's now aged 40 and has been diagnosed with silicosis. So I was mentally, I was like, no, no, not me, no. I was forced to cease work and get further tests done. So I did and uh, yeah, eventually got my diagnosis. Just so many things go through your head. Things you can't help, especially negative thoughts. So, you know, I've got kids, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm young at heart. I've got a lot of life to live. Grab a seat up the top there, Jared. I'll just have a listen there. So if you can just turn around a little bit that way, I'm just going to tap down your back first of all. I'm currently treating approximately 40 patients with silicosis, and this is an extraordinarily high number. Over the last 10 years, I probably would have seen about one or two patients with a silicosis. So this is a very, very large number that I'm seeing at the moment. Just a few more deep breaths um, in and out through your mouth. Dr. Ryan Hoy is a respiratory physician. He says that there's currently no cure or any treatment for this severe, irreversible lung disease. Screening is extremely important to identify silicosis as early as possible. In the early stages of silicosis, people don't have any symptoms, um, so no shortness of breath or cough. It's only once the disease progresses to the point it causes severe scarring in the lungs that symptoms will become apparent. We want to identify it early, so then measures can be taken to try to reduce the risk of progression of the disease. These days, there are stricter requirements when it comes to cutting dry stone although how well monitored this is, is still an unknown. As is the future for men like Dean. There are definitely times when I do things and I get reminded that I'm limited. Well, it's unknown. It, it, it leaves questions in your mind of multiple things. Yeah. What am I going to be like in 20 years, in 10 years, when I retire? I'm, Am I going to be plugged into an oxygen tank or...? So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, it definitely pays in the mind.